Young YouTube Rap News from my boy Festival of Subscribe! Just, uh, yeah, saving time there, Shed, saving time. Hey! Now on YouTube, I'm the top man, welcome back to some more Solid Craft, yes! What have we done, Shed? What haven't we done, Chris? What haven't we done? Holy crap. We've been, uh, we've been pretty busy, haven't we, Shed? Let's go and... Busy. Well, first and foremost, we're in a new room, here. Um, people will get a perspective of where this room is as soon as I walk out of that door. Um, but basically this is going to be like a little crafting area where we can craft a load of stuff. I'm going to get into that exact crafter a bit uh, a bit later on uh, in the episode because Shed doesn't know how to use them. Yet, so uh, I thought I'd uh, show him and you guys at the same time. So here we are. That is exactly where it is. And uh, look at everything that we've done. Everything looks exactly the same. Everything <laughs> looks exactly the same way. But, um, right, I'm not going to look inside there yet. I'm not going to look inside that. I'm going to show people that in a bit. So let's go down here. You see? <clears throat> look at this, guys. Look at that shed. I know. Look at Ledge. That. Ledge. That's what it is. All the Tinker's Construct stuff has now been built on this side. We also made ourselves a ledge pick. I have ledge pick. You have ledge pick. Everyone has <laughs> ledge pick. Which is awesome. Which is still actually uh, uh, healing itself quite nicely. Mine is as well. Mine has uh, durability plus 50%, which was from uh, an emerald. Durability plus 500, which was from a diamond. Auto repair from a ball of moss. And the luck and fortune 3, which was from 450 pieces of lapis. Which is insane. Ridiculous. It's insane. So we have been working on this cart system, have we not, Shed? It took us ages to get it working. It did take to us ages it to get it working. Proper. And we we talked about maybe putting it in a circle. I'm sure I said this in the last episode. Um, yeah. We talked about putting it into a circle and then you know, picking it up from the other side. But I thought, <coughs> now we'll just have a little gap here. Uh, we've got a little gap. We'll just put the stuff that we need to put into there. Uh, and then when it comes along there, it won't get dragged out because it's actually inside all the parts that it needs to be. The only thing that gets dragged out is um, the stuff from the storage slots, which you can see there. Um, and this is doing really, really well for us, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's doing really well. Ledge. It's doing large for us. So, the only thing is that there is actually the, it is a bug with Steve's Cats, the, the fact that it will stick um, in front of the uh, the liquid, what was it called? Liquid manager? That's the one. Liquid manager, yeah. Yeah, it will stick in front of the liquid manager because it will use lava as it's just staying there doing nothing, but it will also try to get a, a full tank of lava, so it will stick there all the time. Um, a couple of, uh, you know, somebody put that uh, <coughs> on the forum page. Apparently, it's a known issue. Um, I don't know if it's been fixed or not. If it is going to be fixed, then obviously I'll have to fix that with uh, within the pack and stuff because it would be very, very yeah. useful to have that thing working. And me and you went on a big mining spree, which is why I've got Hardly any of my pickaxe. Uh, well, actually, no, it's about half, half done. Is my pickaxe. What about yours? Yeah, mine's about the same. Three, two, three, eight. Yeah, and that is, you know, from 5,000. Um, yeah, we did a lot of mining, guys. We really did a ton of Do you mining. want to run down and show them some of the bits we'd done mining? Um, we could do, but then it'd take for hours. I was getting back up. Yeah, true. Plus, there's a good, there'll be a world download anyway, so people can actually go and have a look themselves at what we've done. I suppose. Um, now, we were getting too much cobble. There was way too much cobble coming up, plus the cobble that we were mining ourselves as well when we were tr doing strip mines down the bottom. Um, so what I've done is i put a, a diamond transport pipe here and then filtering off cobblestone into a void pipe. So it's just plain old deleting it because uh, it was just getting in the way. It was. Much it's getting, getting mucho in the way. Mucho getting in the way. Or, yeah. um, a lot of stuff we've had gone through uh, this, the awesomeness times five. At one stage, right, I would put things <coughs> in perspective to, for you guys, at one stage the whole thing, this was full. The actual thing, it was full of liquid, just absolutely full of liquid. And uh, yeah, just to put that into perspective for you guys. Um, I finally fixed this problem as well, thanks to uh, a ledge that was on the computer, not computer craft, on the um, mine Red factory. Map. Yeah, uh, mine yeah factory. That, that forum. Somebody told me about um, a thing I had to do to fix this. So I'll just show you that really, really quickly. Edit Pulse. Uh, now apparently the um, red net works like bundle, you know, it works like bundle cable. So that's how I had to actually uh, make this thing work. So you can see there. 
that sledge, that sledge. Works a beaut, and uh, can't complain. So there what we else? Have we, I don't think we've done anything else, have we? We've just been like totally just mining and getting tons of resources so that we can start doing some more builds, have we not? Exactly. But do you want to show them the... I will show, I'll definitely show them inside here. Now, you can see 22 bits of uh, bits, clanite chunks, um, which is quite a lot, actually, you know, of clanite, because it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty rare, rareish. Nearly 7,000 cobblestone. So, yeah, that's why we was uh, voiding it, and we've been voiding it for yeah. a while, so that's mad. Um, if I move slightly down here, I'm, we're going to have to sort this copper out, because it's taking um, things. We're going to have to build a forge lexicon. That's yeah, that's true. To do. We don't have enough diamonds, though. No, 116 diamonds, and that's thanks <coughs> to uh, my little Fortune 3 pickaxe down here. Mind you, it wasn't Fortune 3 at this time, it was Fortune 1. She had got himself a creeper head, which is, like, really rare to get, because we haven't got one so far. 414 coal, um, tons of copper, about nearly 500 copper. Um, what else? Let's have a look further down. 704 iron, which is amazing. And a little bit further down, where's the redstone? There it is. 1,562 redstone. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. That's quite a lot, that. That's quite a lot. Um, loads, of, loads of different stuff as well. Loads and loads of different stuff. So, loads, look at that, toffite chunks. 390 of them. <laughs> and 32 toffite ingots. Yeah. Oh, look, the one, the one trillant gem. The, yeah, gem. I can see that. One trillant gem. Now, the good thing with this is, if I go for ferithium, we should have quite a lot of that, yeah. We've got uh, two ferithium and obsidian. Why did you, what did you need? You needed something for something else. For that. Uh, load of the lapis. You need eight lapis blocks. Eight lapis blocks. Blocks? Around, around a ferithium and obsidian. What, to make, to make the ferithium a and obsidian? To make, to make a thingy. Oh, lapis. No, to make a obsidian in lapis and then you smelt that up and it gives you a trillant gem oh my god well we've got loads of thirithium scraps anyway so that's there um so yeah we've done quite a lot of stuff guys in between uh, in between episodes we do want to try oh sh fuck's sake <laughs> we do want to it fits your head perfectly looks like actually your creeper has Sir homer simpson hair around the side of it <laughs> I can see it from here. That's cracking. <laughs> that's, uh, oh, that's Ledge. That's Ledge. So, yeah, we, we did want to try and, and, and move this series on, because I, I think, you know, the last few episodes has been a little bit slow because of the amount of problems we came up with uh, with the Steve's cats. But everything's working okay now, and uh, we've got Ledge pickaxes that are never going to break. Well, they are going to break, but we can easily repair them again. Um, uh, it, and they auto-repair slowly, and they auto -repair. but slowly anyway. Exactly. The auto repair. Now, the last thing to actually finish off applied energistics is to build ourselves wireless uh, access points. Yep. So I, luckily, I've got all the stuff on uh, on me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now for both of us. I made sure I got this rice and ready. So there we are. We've got Fluix pearls. Lovely. They go there. And there you go. Two wireless receivers. Let's go and have a look at the wireless access point. I believe we're going to need um, access terminal. We're going to need <laughs> an ME access terminal. Yep. Each. Not <laughs> they're, not, they're not too difficult. It's just the, the conversion, conversion matrix. matrix which takes the back side. So why don't we get that stuff together, guys, and uh, we'll be back when we've got these things together. Ah, well, there you go, guys. Conversion matrix. Lovely. We've got two of them. Nice. <clears throat> No. So, <laughs> like that, two ME cables, there we are, two access terminals, two wireless receivers, and it doesn't fucking craft. Now oh, there we are, it's because it's, uh, yeah, because it wasn't there. Um, so it's unlinked, got two of them, which is Ledge Wedge Hedge. Shed, do you uh, like to get that? I can't remember how you link these things, do you just right click on this thing? No? How do we link this thing? Do you know how we link this thing, Shed? No idea. There? Maybe we'll put that in there? Ah, there you go. Come in here. There's a little slot on the top right. Put it in there. Yep. And it'll link it to the system. Winning. Winning! And now, in theory... We should right-click. No signal. What? 
Unless there's a, a receiver we have to uh, do. Uh, there's no signal. What? How does this work, Shad? Tell me about it. I don't know. Wireless access. No, no fingers. This has surely got to work. We we had the unless this. <coughs> there must be something you've got to craft. I think there's something that you've got to put onto the system to actually say, yeah, you can you can connect to this wirelessly. So let me have a look into this, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I think it is this block that we need the wireless access point, which of course would make perfect sense. So I've gone ahead and made a wireless receiver and put all these bits and bobs together, and now we've got. Bits. bits. And now we've got a wireless access uh, point, which is ledge. Um, I don't quite know how it works. You probably have to connect it to the ME cable somewhere, will you? Uh, can I put that in there? Is that? Can we get to it now? Can you get to that now? Yeah. Oy. What's the range on this thing? Let's go and have a look outside. No signal. <laughs> no signal. No signal. No signal. Signal. To the door. That's the signal. You can get boosters, which are here. Wireless boosters. In fact, that's probably a good a good thing to do. Um, it's not very expensive. I don't know how many boosters you can fit on, though. Hmm. It still works here. It still wor it works in the door. It, it stops as you get to about... Um, sort of the first block of the um, railcraft tank downstairs. Right. Well, I'm going to do... Um, and it works, right, it works down to... Um, about the first smel the beginning of the first smeltery downstairs. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do four wireless boosters. See, just yeah. to have a look. I think it actually requires more power doing it this way. I uh, can see not like we're short on power. Not at the moment. No. Does it? Do the boosters go inside here? There. Yes, they do. Um, and they're not actually using more power. So let me. Right, here is previous, the door. Oh, I can go further. What about... Right, no signal. 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 Oh my god, that's like four blocks, are you kidding me? Is, it, is that what it does? Is it a booster per block? It must be. In which case, let me Make go and get some you, want, you want about a stack of them? I don't know, I'm sure there's a maximum that you can put on. Yeah, stack. I can't remember. It might be actually, it might be 64. 12. Now it's 12. Where does that go? If I can what get to mean? it from here, then that'll be good. Yeah, there, there we are. Alright, the bridge. It's right in the middle of these forestry things. Right here, Shed, is the, uh, the outer okay. limit of that. I don't know if it is uh, a stack. But either which way, I can't afford to keep doing that because we've got hardly any quarters, any quarters left. So. Well, you can make it out of iron. We've got tons of iron. Oh yeah, true. You can. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. We forgot to tell people one of the extra mods that we added in with 1.5.2 was a <coughs> mod called Equivalency, which allows us just a little bit more with the Minium Stone. It allows us to change things into other things that normally wouldn't be allowed. So, say for example, um, iron to quartz for applied energistics is something that we can do now because of this equivalency mod, so that's ledge. And that's actually yeah. part of SolidCraft as well, so everybody can get hold of that. So let's see, where can we get to the access terminal where the car is? No. What about up here? You can yeah. get it here. Can get it, can get it at the top here, so that's not too bad. So we can get to it here. That's, you know, because many a time I've come to some, you know, crap, I want to craft something here and I have to go back upstairs to do it, so that's not too bad. And you can do this. And shift click stuff into the system from here. That's true. That is true. Not that we, uh, 
you know, bogged down with stuff in the cargo manager now, so that's good. But you can do that. So there you go. Two wireless access terminals and the wireless access point brings an end to that challenge. Does it? It does. It does. Though there will be stuff we can add to it in the future. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sure. Auto crafting and auto crafting is definitely something I want to get into. But for now, that that challenge is done. Yep. We've done the a way of auto mining without using a quarry. We've done that. We have done that with Steve's carts. So now we've got three different challenges left. One of them is a transport ne a transport network to the following areas using the uh, poles. I think he said. Yep. Um, the other one is have a Thorncraft run, a uh, Thorncraft Golem run, <laughs> Golem run Crop Island, mm. or the last one, create a forestry farm of your choosing. So, what what do you reckon we should do then? I was saying earlier, I reckon we should do th Thorncraft because Thorncraft. I've never really done anything with Thorncraft, and I'd like to give it a go. Yeah, well, I suppose that's a good way of. Uh, yeah, I'd go with that. I would go with that. Okay, so where to start with Thorncraft? Do you know where to start with Thorncraft, Shed? Um, I'm you need a desk thing somewhere, somewhere, don't you? You do. You need uh, two tables, they're called. So, I mean, how are we doing this? What? Are we, where are we going to put this stuff? I don't know. That's what we need to figure out. We do need to figure out. We need, like, a magic clarity. And I've got to say, guys, I'm down to tiny view distance. You won't be able to see right now. Uh, because I want to keep things at 30 FPS. I don't want people getting any problems. They shouldn't do, but... Let me turn it back up. Never been any problems before, have there? Yeah. I've been having FPS issues. Okay, so... Oh, my God. Where are we going to put this? Where are we going to put um, this? We preferably want to have... Um, an access point in there so we can get to crafting stuff. So we need it over by our central area, which is over here. What about we could go off the back of the off the back of here, off the back of Storage Island on the mainland, because we've got you know if we just me cabled out to the back there, yeah. Somewhere in the back there, we and then just run the me cable from here across into there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, mate. Well, yeah, what, uh, you mean, like, flatten that little hill out that's up Yeah, and we built there, some, and out, there some and... out there. I think so. I think so. All right, guys, me and Shed are going to go... run the ME cable. What? And then we just run the ME cable. Yeah, well, that would make sense. So let's have a look in here. How oh, we're looking for bytes used. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fucking sorted, Shed. There's no... There's, there's, there's not wrong with that. Still got a long way to do with that. All right, so... Um, you may want to take that bloody creeper head off because it looks like there's a creeper on the map instead of your face. Can't see who it is. It's a very nice pickaxe you have there. It is. Sludge. Sludge pick. <laughs> <laughs> Sludge pick. Okay, so let's get clear in this area and we'll be back when it's done. Now then, guys, we are back, and if I just actually look out the back there, you can see our nice-looking uh, Thorncraft building. That's made out of uh, sugar. No, what's it made out of? White cobble. Something like that. Cobble black, white, white stone and cobble stone. black stone. And then just a normal cobblestone roof. It's not, like, mega fantastic, but that's because we haven't got into Thorncraft. We haven't got any of the Thorncraft blocks yet. Um, and we'll probably be looking to replace them with Thorncraft blocks and stuff in the future. But for the moment, yep. that looks alright to me. I like that. It don't look bad. It doesn't look, look bad all at right. all. We need a door. What, what? We need a door. Yeah, we're going to sort that out. But firstly, we're both going to you know, craft our own things, because we'll need to craft our I want my own desk. You can work at your desk. I will work at my desk. Ow! That took a fucking lot of elf off me, you son of a bitch. What you get? Oh no, don't! You're already on lower health than me. If you hit me, dying. Not if I crit. Not if I crit you. Hey! Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, wood is what we're going to need for this build. We're going to need some wood because if you look uh, at the crafting recipe for the uh, Thorncraft table for the table, so for example, there is this, and it's item number two four oh nine. You can see it's going to need two wooden planks and three wooden slabs. 
Um, table, 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 table. Table, table. And you're gonna need two, two of those down. tables. So, two wood and three slabs. Have we got wood, pl wood planks? No. I've just nicked them. So, no, 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 no. Right, here we go. Let me plot that atop, along the top there. Two planks there, two planks there, and I've got two wooden tables. I'll just put some slabs in there if you need any slabs. Alright. Got my own. Um got my own desk. Yeah, well might as well. So the other thing that we'll need to get as well is the um the arcane work table. May as well get one of them while we're there. Oh, um, do I need one of them as well? Eh? Do I need one of them as well, or are you? Do we just need one between the two of us? Um, uh, well, you might as well get one yourself. Yeah, I'll have one half the room. You have the other half, and we'll put big things in, like in the, in the middle. I think, I think that's where we're going to do it. Um, and you're going to need. I can't get a recipe for the arcane work table. No, uh, we'll get that. Don't worry. We need another table. That's basically what you need. You need a table. So I need another table. Yeah. So I've got two, but I need a, th a third. Yes. Let's get that together. And I need a cauldron. Yep. Which is like iron or something. I think. don't know if we've got enough iron. One, two, three. Six, seven iron. We might need a wireless access point right uh, here as well, so that we can get to the wireless access over in the Thorncroft place. Yeah, possibly a good idea. Um, we'll need a bookcase, to which we have no books, so I will make my. Need books. a bookcase. Yeah. Okay. Is then just a vanilla bookcase? Yeah. So three books that, and six wood. That'll make one book. Wood. Oops. Okay, so I'll need some leather as well, actually. Leather to bound my books. Bound my books to bind my books. Ta da! Three books all along the middle there, like that. Wooden planks on either side. There is my bookshelf. And then I'll meet you over there, Shep. Oh, my Jew. No. Stay here. <laughs> Table, bookshelf, cauldron. Can't do anything without one key ingredient here. What's that? Um, get yourself a golden nugget. And I've just put some in there, so we have got some. Yep. yep. A stick. Yep. And one of those, any kind of shard, but I would go with one of the abundant ones that we've got, so the earth shards. And craft yourself uh, your first wand. Woo! My first wand. Do you know how to craft a wand? Yep, yep I've done it. Ledge. Ledge. You're going to need that. Currently holds 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3. All right, it is getting stuck in some V-sup, so we're all right there. And now we can go over to the island. Over to Thorncraft Place, where creepers are in abundance. Look at it, thinking it is. Obviously it doesn't know us, does it? No, it doesn't, and it ain't. Pure and simple. Oh, we've got a door. What side are you having? 
But I'm right. I'll have the left. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm right handed, so I'll have the right. Right. I don't know what. I don't know. No idea what I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing that you'll need to do: plonk down your bookshelf anywhere, just anywhere. 